So for example, one, okay, here's the component form, and this is the ij form, okay? They're both the same thing. They're both the same vector. They're both called u. They are just written in two different uh, forms, okay? So according to the formula there, theta would be equal to tangent inverse. What's b equal to? 3. What's a equal to? Negative 3. Make sure you understand that, okay, that this is a and this is b. Okay? So you get tangent of negative 1. Everybody with me on that? Well, we've got to figure out what quadrant this is going to be in because tangent is negative in two quadrants. Which two quadrants is it? Two and four. So we don't know which one it is until we do what? Until we draw it. Okay? And if I draw it... Sorry? Tangent is negative, not positive. Okay? So negative 3, comma 3. So I'm going to go like this out to here. And here's my vector. That's my vector, okay? So, from your friend's table and other stuff, can you give me what the angle is in radians? Is everybody with Ian on that? 3 pi over 4? Is everybody okay? You guys with me on this? Sorry? Because if you go into friend's table, you'd get pi over 4. And then it'd be pi minus pi over 4. That would be 3 pi over 4. Okay? So another reason why this is coming into trig, because we've just done all the friend's table stuff, okay? So here's my explanation for that, okay? Example 2. It's a pretty long example. It's uh, actually teaching you to go from various different forms, okay? Uh, I'm going to pause this. You guys uh, copy this down, okay? All right, so from yesterday, uh, uh, how can we do number A? What was the recipe I gave you yesterday? Ian? Terminal, terminal minus initial, okay? So you're going to go terminal of the vector is minus 1, initial is negative 2, so that would give you a 1 for the x part. Okay, does everybody understand that? I'm taking this minus that, all right? And for the other component, it's the same thing, terminal minus initial. So what does that give you? Sorry? Negative 5. My theta is going to be tangent inverse of negative 5 over 1. Everybody with me on that? This is not a friendly angle, so don't go into your friend's table. It's not a friendly angle. But I do need to draw a sketch because I don't know what quadrant it's going to be in. So the vector is 1, negative 5. So my vector actually uh, lies here. And my angle would be this angle here. Remember, the angle is with the positive x-axis going counterclockwise. Sorry? How do I what? Well, you would graph this vector, right? How do you graph this vector? You'd go 1 along the i direction, negative 5 along the j direction. Okay? All right? So someone get their calculator out and give me, since this is going to be nasty in radians, can you guys give me in degrees? Four decimal places, please. Yeah, sure. No, 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 no. It's got to be positive, dude. It's got to be positive. So it would be 360 plus whatever you got there. Because look, the angle's got to be more than 270. Three zero nine nine. Can someone check Chewy's work here? Beta. 
God, Veda, you're not working. Anybody got the calculator? Is anybody else chugging? Nile, what do you get? Same thing. Okay, nice. All right, thanks, Justin. Is everybody okay on this? Yeah? 281.3099. Okay, and then it says write the vector whose magnitude is two times the vector PQ and has the same direction. It has the same direction. So a couple of ways you can do this. Well, actually, my preferred way is to make this into a unit vector first. And we already did that, okay, when I was answering uh, Mandy's question. So I'm going to pause here for a minute, and you guys make that a unit vector for me, please. So does someone want to give me u prime, which I call the unit vector? Sorry? Root 26 over 26, comma, negative 5, root 26 over 20. Does everybody see where 26 is coming from? Okay. What's the definition of this, Laura? Magnitude of a vector, what do you do? What do you do? Okay, right there. So here's my unit vector, and I want a vector in the same direction as that, but twice its length. So what should I do? Sorry? I heard someone say, multiply by 2, and so you will get this one here. I'm going to use black color, so hopefully it shows up. So it's going to be um, root 26 over 13, comma, negative 5 root 26 over 13. Do you want to check whether it is in the same direction as you? Do you want to? Say yes. Always check your work. Always check your work. How would you do it, Surabi? How would you do it? Sorry? Oh, that's a BITC. That's what she's saying, that's BITC. How would you find the direction of this vector? Didn't I just give you the recipe for it? Okay, tangent theta is equal to B over A. Does everybody see that? Isn't that equal to um, negative 5? Yes? Isn't that what we had earlier? So, on those two angles, on those two vectors in the same direction. Cliff. Yeah. Instead of what? We're here? No, it's 13. Yeah, but the 2 and the 26 cancel to give me a 13. Yeah? Negative 5, root 26 over 13, all over root 26 over 13. In other words, it's this over this. Right? Just like what we did a minute ago. A minute ago. Okay? All right? Uh, let me see if there's anything else after this. I'm not sure. Oh, wow. Okay. One more example. Uh, why don't you copy this down and let you, I'll have you work this at home, and then maybe you can ask me tomorrow. Okay. So copy this down. Uh, I don't know if I have time. I might, if I can squeeze it in in a minute, I might be able to do it. Actually, I gave you a recipe, so you should be able to follow the recipe fairly well. Okay. So I, I think, I, yeah, I think this is fair. I think it's fair for me to leave it to you uh, to complete. Because the recipe is given there. We've done all the things. You should you need to follow through and finish it off.